Stand up for prayer, please. Eleisonima sutio supatiro pantukratur panegatria seleisonima seleisonima ayo rabbelas poat kun mana me kaswardi pray to you thank for our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Get up now, my from God, the Father of our Lord, and then the Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us. As to this hour, let us also ask him, the Lord, God, the Pantocrator, to grant us in all peace this holy day. And all the days of our lives. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Lord, God, the Pantocrat. Father of our Lord God and Savior, we are Jesus Christ. We thank you for every condition concerning every condition and in every condition. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us. Accept us to yourself, spread us, support us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his sins, for that which is going to our behalf at all times. And may he repose the soul of his son Abel and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you for every condition, concerning every condition in every condition. For you have covered us, helped us, guard us, support us, spared us, accept us himself, and have brought us to this hour. Therefore, or we are sent to recon the salam of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan. 
The counsel of the wicked man the rising up of enemies hid and manifest them away from us and from all your people and from the soul of your servants Abel and from this place that is yours but those things which are good and provide who provide for us, for you have given us authority to train our serpents, scorpions, and upon all the powers of the enemy. Lord, have mercy, your mercy is oh my God, our countless and exceedingly plenteous are your compassions through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Mary. O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions. Blot out my iniquity, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I am conscious of my iniquity, and my sin is at all times before me. Against you only I have sinned and done evil before you, that you might be just in your sayings and might overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins my mother conceived me. For behold, you have loved the truth. You have manifested to me the hidden and unrevealed things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with your hyssop, and I shall be purified. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear gladness and joy. The humbled bones shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in my inward parts. Do not cast me away from your face and do not remove your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a directing spirit. Then I shall teach the transgressors your ways and the ungodly men shall turn to you. Deliver me from blood, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God shall not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with sacrifices of righteousness, offering and burnt sacrifices. Then they shall offer calves upon your altar. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation, for my my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. Blessed is he whom you choose and bring me to dwell in your court we shall be satisfied with goodness of your house your holy temple O oh lord i beseech 
Sing tune, save my life. Gracious in the Lord and righteous, our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple when I was brought low, He served me. For the resurrection of the dead, those who slept and reposed in the faith of Christ, Lord, repose all their souls. Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to me an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. Grace and peace be with you all. Amen. Paul, the servant of our Lord, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the first epistle of Paul to the Thessalonians. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. Holy
Christ our, our God, who said to us and to our disciples and all the apostles, many prophets and righteous men desire to see things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear things which you and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes for this see and your ears for the hear. May be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our master, those who are binding us, to remember them in our supplications and prayers which you offer unto you, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us, our resurrection and of us all. We beseech our Lord and God that we may be worthy to hear the holy and divine gospel. In wisdom, let us attend to the holy God. A psalm of David, my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Alleluia. O oh God, have mercy and compassion upon us and make us worthy to hear the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Then fear came upon all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen up among us, and God has visited his people. Glory be to God for
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, this very soul, the soul of your servant Abel, for whom we are gathered, O Lord, repose him in the kingdom of heaven. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of heaven, and receive him unto you according to your great mercy. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of righteousness, that he may enter therein and rejoice there. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of paradise, as you opened unto the thief. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of kingdom. May he be a partaker with all the saints. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of rest, that he may sing with all the angels. May he be worthy to see joy, let the angels of light lead him to the life. May he repose in the bosom of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Forgive him his sins, which he has a far time committed, both knowingly and unknowingly. For you, O Lord, know the feeblessness and the weakness of humanity and your mercy give consolation to all whom he has left behind and to his household and give unto him patience unto them patience and the good heavenly reward to the intercessions of our lady saint mary and all the whole choir of heavens let both your mercy and your help be with your people Grant them coolness, establish us in your orthodox faith, be a protector unto us, we the faithful. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you crucified and saved us. Amen. For this we glorify you, crying out, saying, Blessed are you. O my Lord Jesus, for you were crucified and saved us in the wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy truly. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantorator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, be God and not created, the one is to the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. We love for the resurrection. 
resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. <laughs> Is more in Pantocrator, the father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the soul of your servant who have fallen asleep our fathers and our uh, brethren pray for our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep and repose in the faith of christ since the beginning our holy fathers the archbishops our fathers, the bishops, our fathers, the higmans, our father and the priest, our brother and the deacon, our fathers, the monks, and our fathers, the laymen, and for the full repose of Christians, and for the repose of his soul, son Abel, that Christ our God may repose all their souls in the paradise of joy, and we too accord mercy unto us, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Graciously, O Lord, repose all their soul in the bottom of our Holy Father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sustain them in the green pasture beside still waters in the paradise of joy. The place out of which grief, sorrow, and groaning have fled away in the lot of your sins. Raise up their bodies also in the day which you have appointed according to your promises which are without lie. Grant them the good things of you. Promises that which an eye has not seen nor ear heard, neither have come upon the heart of man the thing which you, O God, have prepared for those who love your holy name for the no. For your servants, but a uh, 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 departure. Even if any negligence or heedlessness had overtaken them uh, 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 as men, send they were clothed in flesh and wealth in this world. O God, and the good one, and the lover of mankind, graciously accord, O Lord, to repose and forgive them. Your servant, the Orthodox Christian, war in the whole world from the east to the west. From the north to the south, each one according to his name, 
and each one according to her name. For no one is pure and without blemish, even though in his life on earth be a single day. As for those, O Lord, no soul you have taken upon them, and may they be worthy of the kingdom of the heavens. As for us all, grant us our Christian perfection that will be pleasing to you, and give them and us a share and inheritance with all you. Ask the first speaker to come forth. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor for me to be here on behalf of Abel's parents, Mengus Tasigi, Dagamit Uit Abraham, Eritrean Canadians of Ottawa, to eulogize Abel Mengestab and to share with you his extraordinary legacy. On November 5th, 1999, heaven released a beautiful, luminous angel, Abel, to earth. God chose two special people, Mengus and Dag, to be Abel's parents because God knew that no other one could take care of his special angel, Abby as Mengus and Dag would. God blessed Dag even more by having Abel to be born on her birthday. Dag quickly dubbed Abby to be her greatest birthday gift. Abel, our earth angel, was an extraordinary gift, not only to his parents, but to his grandma, Yergalem, his uncle Moses, and his aunts, uncles, cousins from the United States, from Europe, from Eritrea, and across the world. His Canadian Eritrean community, and most of all, to humanity at large. For you to have a full appreciation and understanding of why I use the words that he was an extraordinary gift, I would like to invite his dad, Mengestab, to share Abel's special context and the way in which he viewed the world around him. Thank you. I just want to share a few things about Abel. Um, it is hard, but with your support and courage, I hope I'll be able to finish my brief remarks. I want to share Abel at three years. Abel had not spoken a single word in three years. We did everything as parents. 
everything that we could do to help him. Then we were approaching medical professionals, everyone that can actually help to get a word out of Abel. For some reason, Abel did not want to speak for the first three years. Then came the diagnosis of the medical experts. And they told us, Abel may not speak, may not go to school, or do tasks that normally children of his age would do. What the medical professionals did not know was that Abel was an extraordinary special child who was blessed with an incredible mother, Dag, an incredible hardworking grandmother who basically gave all her life to raise Abel, as well as his loving uncle Moses and friends from around the world. We did not leave any stone unturned just to help Abel to speak and to support him. And the more we read about the diagnosis, which was autism, we started to lose hope and we started to get really scared. This may be true. We changed our expectation. And I remember all of us praying for God to give us two things. If Abel could just say two things, I'm hungry <laughs> or I'm sick, so that we can take care of those two basic needs. That's all we asked God. But God, in his greatness, blessed Abel with an abundance of words. By four years, Abel, no one can stop him from talking. He's a miracle child. This is why he's special. Abel overcame and exceeded every medical professional diagnosis and how, what will happen in his future about not being able to speak or do the normal thing. I want to share this because I think Abel would appreciate this. He cares about children. And for parents who may be experiencing with children that have this kind of challenge, I want you to be this story of Abel and everything that you know to be a sign of hope and courage. It's not about revealing what difficulty had. It's about the hope for all of you to continue to um, use Abel's story as inspiration to support kids that may need your help. At the age of six, um, Abel was sitting near me and I was writing a letter on behalf of the community to Immigration Canada because an individual was being deported, a refugee claimant, to, to his country of origin. And an impatient Abel kept <laughs> interrupting me to go and play outside. So I kept telling him I need to finish this. And then finally he said, Dad, what are you writing anyways? And I told him the whole thing. I told him the immigration process, why this person is actually getting deported. Then he got excited. For those of you who don't know, Abel is an incredible, he's an avid reader, and he loved writing and reading. So he said, Dad, can I help write the letter? I said, okay. You know, I just wanted to get a little bit of time to finish my letter. Say, go to the bedroom and write it just in bullet point. He came back a minute later, and he said, Dad, I have the letter for the immigration. He said, number one, tell immigration not to deport him because he won't have any friends there. Abel doesn't know that when a person gets deported they, deported, they get deported to their country of origin. So he thought that they might not know anybody there. His second point was, he may not get a job and he will be hungry. Tell them to leave him here. 
but the most profound that actually changed it, that sort of gave me an introduction to Abi was the following. He said, this is God's land. <laughs> we should all share it. That was the introduction who Abel was to me. This at six. At the age of 15, we went to Eritrea, we came back, <laughs> and then he was doing all kinds of research, and he told me that he started volunteering with the NDP. And I said, at 15, you know, wouldn't you be interested in the latest movie or the, the iPad or the new digital gadgets? You're researching which political party to join? It was a bit of a, bit of a shock. And then I also got curious and I said, why the NDP? What do you know about all the political parties? And he said, this particular one, he said, they introduced the universal health, which is AHIP. They created a social safety net for the people who don't have enough. And they also created a student loan. For those reasons, I'm joining this political party. And that is really what Abel fights for. A 20-year-old, I'm going to end with this one, is during the, during the COVID-19. Uh, the whole country was shut down. I closed my office, his mom, and we all came home. And we said, OK, guys, from now on, we're all working. The school was closed, so you know, we were basically told we have to have some project, COVID project. And, and he said, well, actually, I'm going to work tomorrow, a night shift. <laughs> Where? No, I've accepted a job at the homeless shelter. And a time when everybody is coming home to stay safe. And we begged him, we asked him all kinds of things. You know, this doesn't make sense, Abel. Everybody is coming home to protect themselves and protect their family. Did you know that I have a blood pressure? I have other conditions. Your grandma comes here, your mom. <laughs> This is going to be a dangerous thing for you and for all of us. Uh, Abel didn't listen. He made up his mind. He believed on it. And the next day, he went to work. He started at 11 o'clock, and he comes at 8 in the morning, working at the shelter. I thought, so again, we talked to him. and said, Abel, why are you doing this? We pay all the bills. You don't have to do this. He said, no, maybe I might need uh, to buy a car. So I said, OK, maybe this is a way out. So we, we had a family gathering. And I basically said to him, OK, Abel, we have a deal for you. Tell me how much you make a month. I said, about 500. I said, I'll give you 500. <laughs> and his grandma said, I'll add another $200. So you actually make $700. Abel got angry. <laughs> and he got angry at us, and he said, you're trying to give me more money, so I don't go and help the homeless. Are you saying the homeless don't need help during the COVID-19? That was the story of Abel committed, and that's what he did until the last breath of his life. And I don't think I can share anymore, but just to give you a little bit of the glimpse of uh, Abel's Commitment. Thank you. I <clears throat> thank you, Mengus, for sharing this. Words cannot express the grief that we all feel for Doug and Mingus. And as a community, we stand here to support them. If Abel was here in this moment, he would tell us not to forget about the happy thoughts. And for the extraordinary things you have heard about him, I want us to use today to celebrate his life, because his short life 
was an incredible legacy of a young man who overcame challenges and made a difference in the world that some of us would live a lifetime and we would not be able to make. Let us see his life as an inspiration for us. And I want to share some of the big milestones in Abel's life. I met him when I was five, and I'm here today because I work with Mengus. And we've seen as a community, we've seen Abel grow up. And for all of us, it's like losing a son. Abel, the kind, vocal child, exhibited a passion for social justice and all living beings at a young age. He first expressed this passion through his love for animals and insects. When he was about five years old, Abel's parents made the mistake of stepping on a bug in his presence. He immediately chastised them for killing the insect and then educated them on how to respectfully remove unwanted beings from the home by placing the insect in a tissue and gently putting it outside. When they asked him, what was the big deal? Like it's only an insect. He asked them whether they had ever considered that the bug might also have a mother and children of its own. That was the depth of Abel. Abel never grew out of his deep-seated love for God's creatures, including his dog Simba, which was a gift from his parents. His daily routine with Simba imprinted responsibility for another life which he guarded carefully. I remember his father sometimes talking at work about how Abel was very protective about Simba when they went walking, even to the point that his protection of Simba helped to develop his own awareness about road danger. He would protect Simba with his life. Another example of his love for animals is demonstrated by the fact that he refuses, up to the day he died, to eat an egg yolk because a yolk represents life. While other children were mesmerized by McDonald's, Abel would choose a trip to the zoo or a pet store, his favorite places on earth, over a happy meal. Abel's other love was children, all children, but particularly those in the Eritrean community whom he showered with attention whenever he was in the presence. It was a connection that adults could only envy. As for the children, they flocked to him, genuinely loved him back because Abel was a good, deep person and we have all seen it up close. At the age of 15, Abel and his parents traveled to Eritrea. This was his second time back. They went when he was 10 and then at 15, but his mom told me yesterday it was Abel who inspired the trip. This was one of the most memorable trips for Abel and his parents. Not only did Abel reconnect with his extended family on this trip, he also reconnected to his roots in Eritrea. It was an experience that had a lasting impact on his life. Before leaving Canada for the trip, the group of 11, it's a group of children he grew up with, asked him to serve as their ambassador and deliver the donations they had collected for orphan children in Eritrea. Abby completed the task with pride and with grace. He contribu his contribution led to an interview with the national paper, Eritrea Profile. Abel, a mad teenager at this time, made his chosen siblings proud by eloquently, eloquently articulating the essence of the group's objectives. He told the reporter that he hoped that their donation would encourage others to support and invest in orphan children in Eritrea. As you can tell, Abel, our earth angel, was always ahead of his time and beyond his years. Abel graduated from D. Roy Kennedy Public Elementary School 
and Sir Robert Borden High School, where true to his nature, he served as an ambassador for newcomers and organize, as an organizer for Black History Month celebrations. An honor roll student throughout elementary and high school, Abel was often recognized for his academic and vocational achievements, including receiving the Lynn Jones Citizenship Award and the Ontario Scholar Award. In recognition of his impressive acting skills, Abel was selected to represent his school against students from 28 high schools. His performance landed him a nomination for the 2017 Silver Medal for Best Acting from the Oscar Larson Performing Arts Center. This kid was just amazing. In 2016, Abel was among 140 students from across the country selected to participate in the highly competitive forum for young Canadians to study the processes of government in Canada program. The youngest of the bunch, Abel, was amply awarded the most likely to become prime minister designation. Pause for a moment on this. Abel's commitment to civic engagement and social justice led him to join the NDP in his teens. He held a youth position on the Nipian NDP EDA executive and was also their representative at various NDP East Ontario councils as well as NDP policy conventions. Abel cared deeply for civil rights, rights of minorities, rights for youth, gender equality, economic equality, and he was so well informed about all of it. Abel was as authentic and genuine a warrior for social justice as can be, in a way that inspired so many with confidence for a better future. It was his deeply rooted belief in the possibility for a fairer, more equitable tomorrow that fueled Abel's drive for political activism. Abel volunteered on his first political campaign at the age of 15 for NDP candidate Sean Devine's 2015 election bid. Even though he was the youngest person who worked on that campaign, he was undeniably one of the most passionate, knowledgeable, and committed people that they had on their team. Abel was brilliant, fierce, relentless. There was no doubt, even then, that Abel had an extremely bright future ahead of him, and the world would greatly benefit from whatever he did. In 2018, at the age of 19, Abel worked on two provincial campaigns. Can you believe that? I only found that out from MP Joel a while ago. Two campaigns in one year. He worked as the campaign manager for Zaf and Sari's provincial campaign, where he came second place in a very impressive second place result. And Abel also volunteered at the same time, same year, on MP Joel Harden's successful 2018 provincial campaign, Ottawa Center. As Joel just told me a while ago, he saw the potential for NDP. Most recently, Abel was the president of both the provincial and federal NDP riding associations for NPN. Prior to being elected as president, he was already an active member of the NPN Riding Association executive. Bringing his activism a little closer home, Abel was instrumental in creating a network of black members for NDP. Abel was also passionate about Eritrean heritage, the Eritrean community, and youth. In 2018, he was recognized for the many hours over many years that he had spent in volunteering in his community. He was named National Volunteer Week Honorary for his work with young Eritreans 
in Tigrinia's school and his contributions to planning and organizing Eritrean Independence Day celebrations, where he helped put a script for an original play and assisted the children to rehearse cultural dances. This boy was just a gift to life, and that's why we call him extraordinary. He lived an extraordinary legacy. Abel Mengestab was a role model to all of us and to anyone who we ever encountered. He inspired his juniors and seniors alike. We called him Canada's Obama, his friends call him. Abel was a living example of excellence. Abel, Abel's friends will tell you that the extent of his potential was unknown to most, that he was a living genius. That couldn't be overstated. Not only was Abel incredibly bright, he was also very creative, which he expressed through his love for music and captivating lyrics which he wrote. In his mid 20 years, Abel's impact on the world around him was greater than most of us could imagine in our whole lifetime. Abel's passion and drive also led him to the pursuit of higher education at the Carleton University's Arthur Kroger School of Public Affairs. Having just completed his third year at university, Abel applied the tools and skills he was learning through his program to his activism career. On campus, he joined the Carleton University NDP and was elected VP of Programming. This role put him in charge of organizing and running campus events that furthered the NDP movement and connecting with progressive initiatives to mobilize support for community leaders affiliated with NDP. Abel smile. Do you remember the smile? Abel's smile was healing and his life touched so many people from far and near. He brought the best in others and made them believe in themselves. His humor, his kindness, and selflessness will continue to inspire all of those of us who were lucky enough to know him and to be loved by him. When Abel spoke of children in the Eritrean community, his eyes sparkled. We saw his sincerity. When he stood with his friends through the challenges of life, we saw his loyalty. When he took authentic interest in the lives of others, we saw his generosity. God commands us above all to love, and love Abel did. Last night, I had an opportunity to be with both Doug and Mengus, and I asked them the question, what message would they like to give to Abel today? That if Abel could listen now, right now, and we hope he does. Because the bond between parents can never be broken, nor forgotten. And Doug had a special message for Abel, which I'm going to share with you now. Doug said that even though she was his mother, and she knows she is his mother, that Abel was her mentor her teacher, her role model. He was her protector. He was the light that entered into a room. He was hope. She admired his ability to be able to analyze and develop an argument with different angles when she claims she herself would never think of the things that he thinks of. Sometimes it drove her crazy but she was intrigued with his way of thinking, which she described as being wise. Abel, your mom wants you to know that she loves you and will always love you. She promises that she will take care of herself, which is something you always wanted her to do. And Mengus had a special message for Abel. Abel, your dad wants you to know that he loves you so deeply, more than words can express. More than words can express, scream or shout. You are the air that he breathes. You are the angel that he is so proud of. 
at all of your accomplishments. He wants you to know that he has learned so much from you. He loved you before, and he always will love you forever. Abel, as a community, we want to say thank you for being the earth angel who walked alongside us and blessed us with your gentle soul. We want to say thank you, Abel, for sharing your life with us and living a legacy which is full of hope for any young person who's listening to this, which is full of hope of action and inspiration for humanity. Thank you, Abel, for the love and light which will continue to light the way for your parents, your family, and for all of us. Can we just say, thank you, Abel? Thank you, Abel. Can we say it again? Thank you, Abel. Thank you, Abel. Mangus, Dag, Grandma, and other family members, we all share the pain and loss that you feel. And we want you to know that we are here to support you. I have never seen community support in the way I have seen it in the last few days. As we celebrate Abel's legacy, we hope that you will come find comfort in knowing that he created a legacy which will outlive him by hundreds of years. May you come find comfort in knowing that he accomplished his mission on earth and he has inspired the rest of us to step up to continue living his legacy for a better Canada, for more equality, equity, social justice, and for a better world. We thank you, Mengus and Doug, for sharing your extraordinary gift, our earth angel Abel, with us. He was a light and love and will always be light and love. So Abel today and every day, we will carry on your legacy. And of course, we promise to not forget the happy thoughts. In the spirit of Abel, I want you, whether you're watching on YouTube or here, I want you to look at the, someone, find someone to look at, smile. That is what Abel would want us to do right now. And say to the person who you are looking at, do not forget the happy thoughts. Let's do that now. Smile, look at someone, smile. Do not forget the happy thoughts. May you rest in peace, Abby, and fly with the angels in heaven. Thank you, everybody, thank you. Salam Amlah Msahamirun. Salam Amlah Nilbina Yigza. Abzaribe Nati Tegeli Su Zeuda Tarikh Nay Abil Nuala Du Komun Vet Sabu Kile Kanibib Fuli Kibrisman Abil Zahamomon Zahdaran Sulwa, Bahatsir Sahuf, Kigil Zhalakon. Tarik Abel, Tazer Zir Zeuda, Tarik Havenen, Kuratinu. Abel Mengstab, Behadar Hamushte, Shant Shatam, it is Ant Shatan, Amatamurat Kababu at Mengstab Sagai, Adieu with Zoro, Dagma with Abraham, Abkatama Otto Atolidu. Abel Kamkulusan, Abhok Fiwaladu, Komun Abayu. Mamma yerga alam, aku mulaat betasabun bufukrin bhaliyatun mamiyu qabiyu 
ادمیون تمرت مس بقعه نایم با آتات مرتی آبیت مرتی دیروی کنیدی کم ود من نایم کلا این کلا این درجات مرتی آبیت مرتی کلا این درجا سر روبرت بوردن بلعل بقعتن قبل ال تنت نزازیم آبیل کاب نای کلا این درجات مرتو بلعل نت بی سلست مرغه بکارلتن یونیورسیتی سکولارشیپ توهی بویو ناب یونیورسیت مرتی جمیر آبیل اب کل جوعزه تمرتو کاب مزنوت قبل ال بمبال بزحنا آدان آدنا قط رقیبی کم رأی من فعتون و تیتون صعرن زرقبو شلمات نای لین جونز نای بلوت زیگا شلمات مالت لین جونز سیتنشیپ آورد نای کف لگزات انتیریو نای مهدرت مرتی شلمات مالت انتیریو سکولارشیپ آورد کمیتن اربعان بفولی سلطانا نخوزدو املا کملا کانادا استمرت مسات به ادم زن اسک نسو بمن زنو نای مسایی نای کانادا قدم ایب میستر تبعیلو زتراقه برهانو با اجو زدمقه تمهرای یونی رابیل. آبکل تشن عصر شعبتن دوی تمرت وکیلو مس کاب اسران شمانتن نای کلای درجه آبیات تمرت توازو بمود دار ببلوت نای موسا بقعت نبی تمرتو نای نحس نای نای نحس شلمات کشلم آبقیو آبیل مللی بهریو فقری امناتون دلیتون دما فتحی من گاسی نیرو هم با اتان کلا این درجه تام هرای کلو کمان باس در نه حدستی مسات نیاتات نیو کامرس مالاتیو کامون عبیت مرتو عمت او ذخر تاریخ تعلم تعلمتی ات آتاتیو تاریخ تعلمتی عبیت مرتی نخز کر مسروی تو مالاتی بر حریق خای قط سالو آبیل مللیو به بهاریو فقری امناتو دما دلیتم فتح نیرو آبیل نس آنات فلی فقر سلز نبرو اما بل عصر تحمیش تعمت ادمیو کاب عصر تحد مزانو بستواس اجنزب آبی ارتران ملی زختمات کوئل موفای صبح ار آیا خوینو مس گازیت ایرترا پروفایل کلمت ایق بمقدارد ما کالو ات سانات کم تناتم کجبرو تمحتینو آبیل آبگزه سان نتو جمیرو آویست وحد عمتات زعممو نمیمانو زد اجم عبیتی فس عمتات زرزیر کامودا زود دای کنن بفلای آب مدای پلیتیکان محدران لعل بقعت انتقال نتن کرکب کیلو گناتم هرای کلا ای در جهالو اول حدیش دموکراسی و سلفی مالت NDP نیپیان بومخان بتی سلفی نمین سیات استحاز زل علی صفح سلط انحیزو اول فتس امیت بورت نایت سلف خوینو کنات اف جمیرو نت سلف و کیلو اب وسنت اخباتات بایتو مبرق انتیریو تصادفو نایت سلفی پولیسن استراتژی نمین سات آب استقبال و علاقات تصادفو عزوس ترا تصاویتون آب عبیتی کار عبیت بکرات حلفتی نایت سلفی کم اون سب سلطان منگستی نادان آدنا قط رقیب آبیل بزعباتی ذکر الله صلی الله علیه و آله مسالات عمیق افلت ازونن نعلم ادمات صنع دمن بارو حق انجام و فین تقلصای محبراوی معرنت مخانو بجبری بن رجاز نبوز حد ابنت کینو تسفابرو متعی اسنیقون عتیقون ایو حلیفو کند حمرت قلصی معرنت محبراو فتح نم رجاز ایو نیرو نابنت من سیات بفلتات مواین نخاطکو صبح مسأن خودلوام کفیت نایل علاوه درجات مرتی مالت نای یونیورسیتی کالجات کفیت کنکی کامون تحت من نابروز لوام جگاتات دم بنسا نایت مرد درک رخبو زبل حلمون مجهاد 
تيتحلل سريح عابس الوا غديفون يحالف ابيل برهانيو ابيل فقريو حلم راي اندما هي وكينو خصل ود 15 عامت كله ابناء 2015 تن بوليتيكا وغوسغاس مرجع حصي تواداري حدش ديموكراسيا وسلفي شين ديفيس بلعل بقعه تواسيو ابتي وانتي بعد مزنا اصاب لنا تسلفي كوانتا نبره بزنا بورو فلتت توفاينت بقعه نايم الاخت متحللاف كاب كلهم وكلتنا يتسلفي صبلل بمبال لعل تقبلنا تخرك بقيو اب كلتا شين عصر شمونتن اب استخايده ناي كبل غزات اونتيريو ناي بايتا ومرچا غوس غواسون نابال بارلاما جو هيدن اب معوات زغبرو استواصو زنو اب تس كاب سيلفي اب زل على طور زبصيو كاتسيرو اب كلتا شين عصر شمونتن نفدرالو وكلت حزبي اب استخايده ناي مرچا غوس غواس وانا اكايد تقلال غوس غواس مرجع مالت كامبين مانجر ناي حسي توادا دارت زاف انصاري خوينو سريحو زاف انصاري قال اي كوينو نخوت ابكيو زاف انصاري نزحقي بقالاتو ابتي بتويتر زرغحو ناي حزن مجلسي مسكرنت هيبلو يركب ابزغرب اوان جميرو بزرايو لعول ناي ممرح بقعات ناي ممحدار نيبيان ناي كلتيو صفحتات منغستي مالت فدرالاون زوباون ناي حدش ديموكراسياو سيلفي بريزيدنت تشيمو بلعل بقعات كنطف صنيو ابيل بزنبرو لعل ناي تقبل نصلوا نبزحات من اسيات بفلاي دما صلمتي ناب ان دي بي مالت حدش ديموكراسياو سيلفي كمز صنبرو غيرون اسولتينون ايو حليف ابيل بمحبر صابو كرع بمنت دما حبون من اسيونيرو نهصاناتن من سياتن ايرتراويان دما حلف زبل فقرن كبرن نيرو كاب ود 10 تخلط عامت جميرو ابيت مرتو انقا تغرينيا ناي محبركم ايرتراويان مدبات ام ممرح مسما مهران توهايدو كنطف نطفون سريحون هاغراو بعالات ايرترانو مخبار اب زدالو مدب بفلاي معالتنا صنتن ناصنت ايرترا كومو دما نزخ معالت سمعاتات ايرترا اب زدالو مدب عابي ابركو تغيرو كمرايا نايت بزح عامتات بتوفاينت زبركو تستواص ودما اب كلتشحن 10 شمونتن بيرتراو محبركم بلوص ابنتاو هاغراو من اسي زبل ناي كبري افلوطو توايبو ابيل بزنبورو منفعاتن بالحن بعدمه نزن سون زعبيون بمعره باون تا زصلو بخلو انتو ابنتا من استي بمنبارو بمزنو ناي كندا اوباما زبل قصلسم توايبو اتي اب زخد برهانو دميقو زر ابيل اب كارلتن يونيفرستون مس محبر سلف حدش ديموكراسي بمصنبار اب حصير اوان حلافنت نايت محبر حلاف نايت محبر كخون بقيعو اب كلتشن عصر شمنتن اب اوان غوسواس مرجا بمدبر تلفزيون سي بي سي اب زتفنو ناي هاغراوي مدرك تع بزعبا حدش بزعبا زحاشه ناي محدر اماراتي حساب نمقراب نسلف حدش ديموكراسي وكيلو بلعل بقعات اب زهاب وملسن زقرو بحساب نسلف حدش ديموكراسي كندا فولي فنان القرعات نملع حبرت سب كندا دما نزنبرو فلتتن راين زس زمسكرلو اغاطام اينيرو ابيل فقريو ابيل حبن القرعات كل ابيل نخلو امال ازغواز بحق فلي من اسيينيرو اما كلزي قينان ولدو انات مالالسه 
ነጥምስ ዘ ሐላፊት ዓለም ዘይ ሐልፍ ክቡርና እግዚአብሔር ነገር በመስተዋል ድልዱል ሰረተ እምነት ነይርዎ አባተ ክርስቲያን ተተኺሉ ብድቅና አገልግሉን በእምነት ከመስተማላለሰን ናይ እምነት ወለዱን በተክርስቲያን መስኪሮም ሊው አቤል ሐቅ ዝበራሃሉ መን እሰይ ነይሩ ከመስክርነት ናይ እምነቱ ድማ አብ ሐዳር ክልተ ሽሕን 15 ተን ወደ 15 ዓመት ከሎ ማለት ነው አብ ናይ ፌስቡክ ማህደሩ እዚስ ዕብጥቅሲ ከመጽሐፍ ቅዱስ መሪጹ ከመምርህ ህይወቱ ለጥፎ ይርከብ እዚ አብ ሮሜ መጽሐፍ ሮሜ ምዕራፍ 8 ፍቅድ 10 8 10 9 ተዘለቃል ከምዚህ ይብል ሐረርታ ፍጥረት ነቲ ምግላጽ በቃ አምላክ ይጽበዩ አሎ እሞ ከሙቃ አነ አነ አቤል ንስቃ እዚ ዘመን እዚ ካባና አባና ክግለጽ ዘመጽ ዘል ክብሪ ከምዘይ ማራረየው አአምን አለኹ አቤል መንግስጣብ አውሽጥ ውህዳት ዓመታት ተዘርዚሩ ዘይ ውዳ አበርኩቶን ጽልዋን አህዲሩ ይሁን ወለዱ ማሐበረሱን ሕብረተ ሰብ ካናዳን በሐንቀውታና ተጸበይዎ ነትመለለ ይዞነ ፍቅርን ብርሃንን ሒዙ ንጽጉማት ምሕጋዝ አብጉዕ ዘኸሎ ፍቅሩ ሐዲ ጉልና ቢሳ 10 ሸመን ተልተ ሸን ኢስራን ካባና በአካል ተፈሊ አቤል ፍቅሪዩ አቤል ሐበኒዩ ቁርዓትዩ ወትሩ በዚህ ዘይ ሐልፍ ባሪኡ ብጽቡቅ ክዝከሪ አቤል አብ ኩሉ ዝቀንዖ መን እሰይኒ ቃል እግዚአብሔር አብ ዘፍጥረት 39 ዓተን ፍቀደ ክልተ ከምዚህ ይብል እግዚአብሔር ምሲያስ የፈነበረ ሞ ንስዑዩ ዝቀንዖ ሰብአይ ነበረ ንፍቁር ወዱና አቤል መንግሰ ሰማያት የዋርሶ ንወለዱ ነዓባዩ ናቁ ንኹሎም አብርሑቁን ቀረባን ዘሎ ቤተሰቡ ንመላ ሕብረት ሰብ ኤርትራን ካናዳን ንኹሎም መታዓቢቱን አፍቆርቱን ጽንዓት ይሃቦም መንፈስ አምላክ ንልብ ኹልና የጸናነ አሜን ናይ አንኔለይ ክብረት ይሃበለይ እዞም ክልተ ወለዲ አነስኳ ዝነበረን ሐጢያት ሕጂ ነገርንሎ አቤል መኺርንሎ ቀድም ንኺዱ አነ ቀድሙ እንዳወልኩ አብዚ ድሕለፍቆ ዓመትን ፈራአን በሐቂ በአይ ይሽቀል ነው አቤል ተደሪረ ሐድራይ መስሎን ነሩ ግን እግዚአብሔር ለትድፈ ተወሰለ ድወስ ተፈታዋይ ስለዝሆነ አብዛ ዓለም ዚያ ሐጢያትን መከራን ከይሪ ኢልዎ ነትደጓዮ ዝነበረን ህናይ ተረደአና ንበር የጓዮ ይነሩ ጻድቂው አብገዛናስ መልአኺ ነርና ቀሽና ሐኪምና ነርስና መኻሪና በቀዳማይ ከዛጋጆ ሆሎን ህናይ ተረዳን ንብር ከዛጋጆ ይደሐለፈ ቀዳ ወይላ ገሩ ሰዓሲዑ አጽብ ቀል ላይ ተቆኒ ነው ኢሉ ንህና ይተረደአናን ምሳና ቡን ሰትዩ ግን ካብ ኢድካን ድህር 
كمز خوين نايف قد املاخ اغزابيهر ناي بيننا حزنا ايكونن عبي كو هو ودي قلنا تبخنا عبي كمز دمسله ان كل تسفا زخون يلنا انت ونا علم بمولو ازبك زلو خبانا نلع الخولدو نحنا زقيمنا ين زغدلنا له النجر يلن بحقي كم ابيل كم نغسنا اين عنا نهم لا علم نملو بيتسب نملو بيتسب نملو رخاب درخو بسب نصعدا خيبلن صليم كيبلي سلام يدس عما بيلو جاد بليس يو زي اين احنا مهار زلنا فقرون لمن اسياتنا زلو دقنا كاب زخم زرتنا انا خاب زخم تحيمكم ولدي فقرون سلام انك قد فلنان نزت مرتنا يا ابل تمهيرنا دماني بحق ان خنبرتعن ني لبنا انا عمرنا كاين الصحيت اغزافير انسان اي خون سخاتكم كلكم بسلام ككاب دم صخمو دقركم درحاكم اب عالم تبالعيو حجي دبرت عنا اني كم نوي بينا مثلن النور ابل حقف يصغبون حقف اينا اي نات نعي حقف ايو دلو شي غومان تاع دلو خداون تناي بقول او خلو مسايلو سعاده خدان ناي قدم تقمط غير خيد حج حزوا خيلو ناي قدم تقمط عندي عمت تتمنيت بزحينا يا بيل كم تدفتنا يا املاك فتيو غين يقني لي كبرتي هابل لي ناي بيننا ايكونن اغزابير صنعات خبنا برتعات خبنا كلنا نبكلنا نحزنا لنا ببخيات ايكونن بزغي غيرنا نفرحل غزي ابز غزي زي خمس غيرنا بمركبنا بحاموش تسب لي تقور سبات الله ولدهم لي قور سبات الله زمصي ان زلو معات مهللان زغيون زدليو سلا زخوني كمز غيرنا زقول عزي مهراين مهراين سلا زخوني محروتي تعرقنا نزي حزنا زلو دما بسلام بسلام قنططلنا اشي مسي غني لي زودي بالامناشندا ثانك يو سو ماتش Uh, our church, I'm proud. I'm proud. Thank you so much. Uh, Hi guys, so I'm the uncle who I've been very, very lucky to have a, a teacher. Um, like my mother, her new name has been grandma ever since I can talk. So every time I, I'm going to her house now, I can never say mom, I, I can only say grandma. So Abby's been always, like always, always a teacher to me. I know this is a this is a theme that everybody's gonna say constantly, but like I would take him to a show and I would learn something from a music show that I thought I saw, but he he noticed that I didn't see a movie, uh, anything you could imagine that I took him like I learned more about the things that was right in front of me that he noticed when he was way 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 young, and I'll play music for him that I thought he would like when he was really young in a car. And then he would listen, listen, as soon as we get to wherever we gotta get, and he's like, oh, next time, play Hagari music. And he leaves. He was so witty, and uh, he's still witty. Um, he's with us, he showed me so much love. He showed Samson so much love, uh, and so much strength. So today he's not like uh, we're saying goodbye, no, we're saying see you later. So this is a thing that him and I always say to one another, uh, we say, uh, I'll see you later, alligator, and he says, uh, in a wild crocodile. So I'm going to ask you guys to do that with me, please. I'm going to say, see you later, alligator. I want you guys to say, in a wild crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Thank you, guys. He always wants us to smile. He, no matter what's going on, he wants us to just keep pushing forward. He showed me so much strength, and let's keep doing that for him. I appreciate you guys from the deepest, deepest of my heart. He was a really, really, really deeply good person. Thank you. Abu Namwas concludes the, um, our spiritual, spiritual uh, sermon. Please listen.
Sami would be. Good afternoon. Um, for those, those of you that don't know me, um, my name is Sammy and I was blessed to be one of Abel's Sunday School servants while he was in high school. Um, I want to start off by reading a poem by Mary Elizabeth Fry. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift, uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars and the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand on my grave and cry, I am not there, I did not die. In our faith, we believe there's no death but a departure. So while today we mourn for our loss, we take comfort knowing Abel's peacefully resting in God's arms where he belongs. Abel, I met you about seven or so years ago. I remember seeing this polite, quiet young guy with this gorgeous head of hair joining our Sunday school group. It didn't take long before the quiet stopped and you couldn't stop talking. And it also didn't take long before everyone fell in love with you. Little did we know how much you'd affect us all with your enthusiasm, your drive, and that big, beautiful smile. I, like most of you, was in total shock when I found out. And when I was asked to speak for today, I had trouble putting my feelings into words. So I thought of looking through things um, through my lens as a teacher, being that learning is a two-way street. So I'd like to share a few things that Abel has taught me, and I'm sure many of you will agree. Abel, you taught me about friendliness and kindness. If anyone interacted with you, even just once, they instantly saw how lovely you were. You always left people better than they were before. You'd graciously and humbly accept any volunteer opportunities I delegate to you. Every time I see you at church with the kids, you are always gentle. It's a testament to your character when no one can possibly find anything remotely negative to say about you. Abel, you taught me how to speak to people with love. I was always amazed at how you could strike up a conversation with just about anyone. I'm sure every parent that you were interacted with at church can attest to how well-mannered you were. I give that credit to your parents. You were the perfect child. I was astonished when we visited your family recently, and your mom praised us saying, you raised him. St. Mary's raised my son. Like my fellow servant Jessica says, your parents gave you to us on a golden platter, and there was no work needed. Abel, you taught me how to smile through every situation. I don't think anyone can recall you frowning. You were smiling 24 seven, not to mention how much of a sense of humor you had. I'll never forget when I was directing plays that you'd join in and how eager you were to learn Arabic lines when it was a language that was foreign to you. You did so well. Abel, you taught me to love learning. You were probably one of the most intelligent and well-spoken youth I've ever met. You could talk someone's ear off about anything that you were passionate about and you did just that, and you were passionate about a lot. It was never arrogant or pretentious. You simply loved to learn and you loved to share. Abel, you taught me about commitment, drive, and having ambition. You were committed to your church, your community, and to social causes. Anyone who knew you well enough knew how involved you were in politics and how important it was for you to be a voice for the voiceless. I'll never forget our conversations about social justice and the riveting poems you would share with me. And you were just getting started. You had a constant drive to make the world a better place. And there's absolutely no doubt that you did just that. Although I could go on, 
I'll conclude with my favorite Bible passage from Revelation. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Today we celebrate Abel being united with his creator. May God give you all comfort and strength, and may we continue to honor his legacy by being better tomorrow than we were today. To our sweet Abel, we love you, we'll always think of you, and we will always honor for you. Intercede for us in heaven. Thank you. Salam. My name is Joel Harden. I'm uh, I was very proud to know Bill. But, 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 I have to explain to you why I have a blue suit on today. I have a blue suit on today because I feel sad. But I'm also thinking I'm thinking of a young troublemaker with a huge heart who painted for many of us the image of a blue sky, the image of possibility. I found out about the awful events of last week on my drive home from my parents' place. I had gone there with my son, and our candidate, um, Morgan Gay, Another, another campaign Abel had assisted with in 2019 in Autumn South called me and I pulled over the car in disbelief. I feel like I've been in a dream ever since, an awful one. But I want to say, thank you, I want to say from the standpoint of not just our party, in the NDP, and, and by the way, our, our Ontario leader, Andrew Horvath, sends her condolences to the family, as does our federal leader, Yogmeet Singh, both of whom I've had the chance to speak to in recent days. I want to say, thinking about the hope that we've been urged to celebrate today, that for me, Abel represented what we can do. There is so often a tendency, I find, in politics and beyond politics, to resort to sanctimony and negativity, particularly in our world today. And it's hard to reach for the light. But I will say this, in the presence of people here and those watching, not only was I blessed to, with Abel's friendship, his tireless work, the way in which he volunteered to speak to some of the people in our city suffering the most all the time. I talked to the canvas captains who worked with him, who gave him the pull sheets. He wanted to go into community housing. He wanted to go into rooming houses. He wanted to work in shelters. That is an embodiment of what we can do in politics, in faith, in business, in life. And at a time when our world really appears often to be tilting towards madness. We, we need to grasp for the light. And I want to say, the last few days, 
challenging as they have been. Thank you, Abba, for reminding me of that. It's important. Let justice roll like a river and righteousness like a mighty stream. Scripture taught me that. Let's remember that. I want to also say Abel's NDP family is vast. It's big. And we want to make sure that in our party and across all parties, we pay homage to the legacy Abel leaves with us and continues with us. Thank you so much for the chance to be here, my friends. There's an African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. Like myself, Abel grew up in the Eritrean community of Ottawa. Abel did a better job than me in recognizing this, and he gave back to his community as soon as he could. In 2013, Abel began volunteering at Tigrinya School on Saturday mornings. Abel was a teaching assistant at Ottawa's Eritrean Language School, and he played a central role in teaching the Eritrean kids their culture and history. It wasn't until 2016 that I got into community organizing and started working with the local Eritrean youth. Abel and I, along with his mom, Dagmarit, had gone together to organize a dance for Eritrea's 25th, 25th anniversary of Eritrean independence. We came up with a choreography for the nine ethno-linguistic groups. I'll be honest, at the time, I was doubtful that our dance would be a success and I was impatient when dealing with the abundance of energy that the youth had. Abel already had three years experience working with our youth, so he was cool, calm, and collected. The kids gravitated towards Abel, as he loved them, he was patient with them, and he understood them. As an intro to our cultural show at our Independence Day celebrations, Abel wrote this short speech. I love Ertra and being Eritrean. Everything from our Red Sea to our armed struggle gives me immense pride in my identity. There are a million things to be proud of, but I just want to talk about two today. The first is our nine tribes. They provide us with unique languages, music, clothes, food, and more. They all collectively define what it means to be Eritrean, who we are as a people. We should embrace this diversity as we have unity through this diversity. Together we are one people, one heart. Second. I'm also proud of our young people here in Ottawa. They are full of energy, creativity, and a love for their country and culture. Our future is in good hands. And tonight we've incorporated the passion and creativity of our youth with the diversity of our beautiful culture. Please enjoy our cultural show. With Abel's leadership, our show is a success. Fast forward to 2017. Abel, Dagmawit, and I wrote a play. Abel and I would meet up at the Tim Hortons on Summer Street West, and we wrote a play on how two young kids discovered their Eritrean identity and history through the storytelling of their parents. Once again, with Abel's leadership, our play was a success. Every summer, a large group of Eritreans from Ottawa visit Toronto for the annual Eritrean Festival. This time around, the kids who were a part of the Independence Day celebration and the play had gifted Abel and I with a sweater says Ertra. They thanked Abel and I for bringing them together and teaching them their history. I wanted to share some testimonials of Hedri Ottawa's members that grew up with Abel in our community that were students at Tigrinya School or were a part of Independence Day performances we put together. Shana Oazgi said, Abel was like an older brother to me and was always there when you needed him the most. He was the kindest, most sweetest person I knew and lit up every room he walked into. Abel, Abel had always been so, so appreciative and wanted to give back to his community and loved ones. We have suffered a tremendous loss and will not forget him. Leah Ephraim said, Abel was an older brother to me. He would always play with me even if he was in a rush. 
He was loving and kind to all of us. He will always have a special place in our hearts. Samurai Filippo said, I've always extremely passionate person. I was an extremely passionate person who had a huge heart. He was a true role model to me and many others in our community. He will truly be missed. Nobela Tomeska. Abel was truly an amazing role model. He was golden. He was respectful and always included us, even though we were younger. He took care of us and was always so patient. We will miss him. Lastly, Abel Gabrihuat said, Abel was a role model and a leader. He taught me to share. He taught me to persevere for things that aren't in your favor. Overall, Abel was an amazing person and would always have a bright smile on his face. I know this is a very tough pill to swallow, but instead of staying sad, how about we remember the amazing moments? And to his family, all my condolences go to you. May Abel rest in peace. Hearing these testimonials, I hope you can understand what Abel means to us and the community. Mengis, Dagmawit, Numa Ergalem. I want to thank you for raising a son who was a role model, a leader, and a pillar of our Eritrean community. Abel showed us what it meant to love your people and to give it back to our local community. He embodied and reflected the nature and principles that are instilled in Mengus and Dagmawit. Abel is a brother and a role model to so many of us, and is now our responsibility to carry out his legacy. As Abel said in his speech in 2016, I'm also proud of our young people here in Ottawa. They are full of energy, creativity, and a love for their culture and country. Our future is in good hands. My final message goes out to the youth. This may be your first time experiencing a lo the loss of a loved one. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts, it's confusing. You lose sleep, you cry. But I wanted to share with you the way that I cope with the loss of a loved one. I think about what I loved about that person. What kept me gravitating towards that person? Whatever you come up with, let that be your guiding principle from here on out. What I loved most about Abel was that he, was, he loved his people. He was patient and he was understanding. If Abel was not by my side when I first got into community organizing, I still would have been that doubtful and impatient person. The sweater that was gifted to Abel and I by our local Eritrean community youth is a symbol of the impact that Abel had on me. With Abel by my side, I learned to love my people, be patient, and be understanding. Love my people, be patient, and be understanding. Love my people, be patient, and be understanding. This will last with me forever. Long live Abel. Rest in peace. Wassalamu alaikum wa ولكنني <تصفيق> أبيل تراح دي كونه ولد تنسي حل ولدنا كابز عالم زي حليف الناي قلنا خي كم من السيلة أبتي وانجيل كنباب كله كسمع كله لزق على زي لو مستنى بلتنا قال نسمع حنت سبيتي كاب عدا وطيا أبتي أفدك ختمه نو لا داخد كبر كتكيد كلا 
ክርስቶስ ዘመን አፍት ከተማ ከአትኸሎ ተጓነፉ ነአ ሐዱ ወላዳይ ኒሩ ከምዚ አቤል ኒሩ ዘለና ኩሎም ከሐዝኑ ኸሎው ኩሎም ከበኺ ኸሎው ክርስቶስ ግን ናታ ሰበይቲ ደንገጻላ ይዝበል እዚ ድማ ኻምጀ መርያና ታወላዲት ዳግም መንግስ አባይ ቤተሰብ ሙሴ ወደር ህልማ ኩል ህዝቢ አቶም ተፈቱዎን አትፈልጡዎን ክርስቶስ ዘበለቃላላ ምስራአያ ደንገጸላሞ አይት በከይ በላ አደ አባይ አኮ ሕዋት ኩልኻትኩም ቡክ ተሓብኑ ዳኸጻን ዕላም በሪክት በኺዩ አይደለኩም እቲ አምላክ ዘኽታም ዘይ ከደፍ አምላክ ምሳኸም ይኹን ንስየ ጽናዓኩም ንስየ ብርታዓኩም እቲ ብኺያትኩም አብዚ ደው ይበል አባዩ ክነግረን ንኾላ መማርጋለም ብዛዓባ አቤ ወደይ ብዙህ ነገር ተዛርወላት ምን ግን ከዛርው አይከልኝ አነ አቤል እንታዩ ምን አልባት ኩልሃን አንፈልጥ ኾይና ግን አቤል ትርጉሙ መስዋዕቲ እግዚአብሔር ነአቤል ቀበል ኩል መስዋዕቲ ንጽህኑ ስለዝራአይ እግዚአብሔር ተቀበሎ ካብ ዓለሙን አቤል ከመይሎ ከመዘ ኻደውን ኩልና አብቱ ታሪክ ተመሪስና መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ነንብቦ ወላድና ድማ ኻ መስዋዕቲ ኮይኑ ናብ ሰማይ ከይደሎ መውዳታ እንታይና ሐና አይን ፈልጦይና እቲ ዝገበሮ ሰብ ግን ክንዝክሮ ኾለና ግን ንዳግም አብ ጊዜ ልደታ ተወሊዱላ ሎም ድማ ኻ ነሳ ድማ ኻ እዝ መስዋዕት ንእግዚአብሔር ይባጥቶላ እቲ መስዋዕት እቲ ነባሪ አቶም ደቀ ይዝኾንኩም መነስያት ከምቲ ተዛረኩሞ ቡኡ ነበሩ በትንሱ ዘርአየኩም ሂያብ በትንሱ ዝገብረልኩም ሂወት ቡኡ ነበሩ ዳን በርነ ድሕነት ገጽኩም አይተመላሱ ምንያቱ እግዚአብሔር አምላክ ሐደ ዘፍቅረና ስለዝሆነ ንሐደ ወላዶ ክርስቶስ ዘማኻኒ ከብ ቅድስ ድንግል ማርያም ኩልድ ድማ ፈቀደ ንዓይን አኻትኩም ድማ ኻ መስዋዕት ይኾንልና እቲ መስዋዕት ዘኸውን መርሐን ዓለም ዝኾነ ድማ ኻኒ እነሆ ነታ ሰበይቲን ካብታ አፍ ደገ አዲክ ወጽያ ወላዳ ኸትከብር ኮላ ድማ ኻኒ ረኺቡ ድማ አጸናንዓ ንሱ ኸነበይ ዝኸይኒሩ ምን ተኹልናና ንኸመውት ከአ መስቀል ቀራኒዮ መስዋዕትና ከኸውን እትን መስዋዕትና ዝኾነና ቅዱስ ጌታና መሐና ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ንሕጅ ድማ ንርአየሞ ነዚ ወላድና እሽ ዝኾነ ድማ ኻኒ ከምተ እንባባ ይንብብ ይፈሪ ፈሪ ድማ ኻኑ ሱል ማኻኒ ናብቲ ወሃቢ ይምላስ ተማሊ ከንብቦ ኸሎ ኸምዚ ሓውና ብጻይና ክንሰምዖ ጸንሕና አብቲ ፓርላማ ተዛርቡ ቃል እግዚአብሔር አምላክ ክሰምዕ ከሎኹ ንእግዚአብሔር አቢ ምስጋና ዘቅረብ ኩሉ እንታዩ አማኒ ይሁን ዘ አማኒ ኩሉ ቃል እግዚአብሔር በአቤል ጌሩ ሰምዐ እትቃል ከንታየሩ ከንብበልኩም ደስ ይብለኒ ቀደሙ ሰምዐኹም ይኹን ከደግሙ አይጣቃል ወንያቱ አቤል ዓላማ ኔሩ እትዓላሙ ኸንታየሩ አብ ሮሚ ምዕራፍ ሸሞንተ ፍቃደ 10 ሸሞንተ 10 ተጫዓተን ሐርታ ፍጥረተ ቲ ምግላጽ ደቃ አምላክ ይጽበዩ አለሞ ከመኻ አንንስቃይዚ ዘመንሲ ነቲ አባና ከግለጽ መጽ ኩሉ ክብሪ ከምዘይ ማዕራሪዮ አአምናለሁ ተስፉኡ ካብ ዓለም ሐሊፊ ኔሩ ተስፉኡ ናይ ሰማይ ኔሩ አዚ ዓለም ዚ አስቂያተ መከራ መኻና ሪኡ ከምቲ አብትናቱ ማህደሩ ጽሓፎ ንሕና ድማ ኻጽብ ሐንጉ ነቲ በተስፋ እንጽበክ ንወርሰም እንቲ አብ ዓለም ከልና ድማ ኻኒ 
ክንፈሪ ከመአቤል እግዚአብሔር ይደረናሉ መስዋዕትኹም ተቀብሉ እግዚአብሔር አምላክ አትወለዲ በዚህ ክትሕበኑን ክትሕጎሱን አለኩም ሎሚ مرعوئ حزن يكون قال اخو لر كله يولد كله نحجوس كما نكفل لي كله من مخاني اتزغبر غبر ان ذكرنا كن حجوس له دا يغبان نمبر كن حزن يغبان كن حز تخونا سنتم تعريفنا زلنا اي نسوغن مسواتي نا اغزابيه قريبو كم تميت نار مع اربعه شي حصاون تي حصانات ابك مغزابيه كوينو نغزابيه زمسكنون زخبرو زلو ازد ما مساعته ما مسكن الله سزي نغزابيه املاخ نفس وكفنا ما انت خبرت انك تصنعن عود ما كنت دتي ادميو كنبر زلو وغنا خ اغزابيه دم خي اخلك كام ساي اب سماي نبر زولو نعن تمت اتزغبرو كل نذكر نفس وكف بخمي كم زخيد عين فلطوننا بخمي كم زعلم كم زعلم كم زخيد عين ردانا لي تب حمام ديو تب سقاي ديو بزخونه نغر كنا خي ود سب انتا غيرو لنا كن حسب لنا اتي غبرو كن نباريو اتي غبرو كن نباريو ماي دي تشيلدرن ماي فولورز ماي سبيشال دي يوث let us learn and let us see what abel has done and i'm pretty sure everybody knows that especially in mont in ottawa as i said as i mentioned before abel it's a sacrifice he sacrificed his life for a better world he was a deacon a deacon means a servant and he was like a abel the righteous which we read in the bible and he sacrificed his life everywhere he goes from his childhood until he passed away and he until he departed and he worked the last on earth was to celebrate with the homeless what a blessing christ is the one which he want us to be like that christ told us Do you know me? You have to serve others. And he was served like Christ. May God rest his soul in the paradise of the our father Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. May God confer the family on behalf of my fathers and all here in Mon- in Ottawa and everywhere. Mengis and Dagam and Mamayal Mamayal Galam and Moses and everybody be proud of him as his name now he is with the 144000 the martyr the children who died in the time of Christ when he was born in Bethlehem but where are they now they are in heavenly kingdom praising God by saying holy 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 and i'm pretty sure he's one of them Glory be to God for ever and ever amen. Amen alleluia. O our true God and Lord of the Father, the Pantocrator, the Master of everyone, the incomprehensible, who abide in the bosom of his Father, the only begotten of God and God, our Master, our Savior, the lover of mankind, beneficent to us at all times. You know the secrets of men and those things which man knows not. Therefore, we ask and entreat you o lover of mankind in mercy and pardon and repose to receive the sinless charge of your child abel 
who has not finished his life on earth, nor has enjoyed good things, nor hates received, nor given, but has lived in milk without guile, and beauty without blemish, and virginity without spot. Yet we pray you, grant him rest and have pity on his childhood. For if you regard iniquity, O Lord, no man shall be justified in your sight, even though his life on earth be a single day. For you, blessed children, with your good mouth, giving commandments concerning children, saying, Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. If thus this great blessing from heaven it theirs, count your servant Abel in the number of the children who have gone before him, those who are gathered into the places of repose in your kingdom, the one hundred and forty-four thousand. Clothe him with them in the spotless raiment and the unfading beauty in the tabernacles of light, the place which you have appointed for them that please you. We worship you, O our Lord Jesus Christ, the searcher of our nature, who form in our hearts and know the things that are in them, the hidden and the manifest to knowledge. On behalf of your servants, his father and his mother, who is great sorrow and her touch reaches unto you in tears and mourning, you as the good one and lover of mankind went into the city of Nain and raised the son of the widow unto her living and incorrupt. To these others then, O Lord, raise up other seed in place of him that they may rejoice in place of their mourning. For you are he who took away sorrow from us, O Jesus Christ our God. For you did the glory with your good Father and the Holy Spirit forever and from the age to the ages to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one in Christ Jesus our Lord for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever Amen Amen Alleluia Dux Abetrike Eioke Agiop Nevmatike Ninkai Kestos Eon Astonion Amin Ten Oshe Volingo Emoje Obencho Sisus be Christus fieta vash fe pestavrosic echum chem epsatanas, sape sit in in a chalav, sotiem mono nainan, kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria eflogison, amin smo eroi, smo eroi, stimatonia coni evol compi esmo, smopi a Christus penuti, amin as a or on the tear in one on and ticket in seven and on and ticket in a can of an on a wall. J talk titty go on and be on and be as one and be a mohisha in a amen. Make us worthy to pray to you thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. After we have finished, the, um, I, I extend our feelings and condolences from St. Mary Coptic Church 
on behalf of Abuna Marcos and all the conservants and his friends, his brothers and sisters also, who extends our condolences and we pray for his soul to be reposed in the bosom of the Holy Fathers, Abraham and Jacob, Isaac and Jacob, and give you the comfort of the Holy Spirit you deserve. After we leave now, uh, you know, because of the virus, no shaking of hands like normal. So uh, those who are allowed, I understand there is a maximum of 50 allowed to go to the cemetery. The cemetery is here nearby in Green Bank, the third traffic light on the right. So after that, the deacons will uh, will take um, the body out of the church chanting. And then those who are allowed to go to the cemetery of the family, go directly there, please. And the rest, may the Lord give you the heavenly rewards that you deserve because of your coming and sharing with the family since the event happened until now. And I hope that in the future also, normally when some event happens, we are we are emotionally sharing and sharing and sharing, and after some time, we forget. Don't do that. Be with the family all the time, because it is something not simple. It's a hurty, and it needs longer and longer time to be beside them all the time. God bless you all. Thank you. 